Hey guys, welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. Um, again, as we said, we're at the beach side. Today's video is a free farm dreadlocks video. We're going to deal with the spiritual connection of free farm dreadlocks. You know, we do a couple of them videos on my channel already, but for all the newcomers, this is spirituality and free farm dreadlocks. So, as you all know, my free farm dreadlocks. You know, the updates them on my channel and all of that. The old, my old viewers. They already know, but for the new people, they have free farm dreadlocks. And some people say they don't like Thai spirituality towards um, the free farm dreads, but this is the, this, it is, you know, even if you don't grow free farm bread for spiritual reasons, over time while growing free farm bread, you realize say, your awareness, you know, your spiritual connection, you know, you start to have somewhat of a spiritual connection, even if you didn't have any, you know, before, you know, your awareness starts to get better, you start to look at life deeper. With free farm dreadlocks. So, find out that the ear have a strong connection to spirituality. Side, so, if you're even looking at the ancient texts, you know, if you're going to history, if you're a person who likes to do deep research and them things like me, I realize that the ancient pharaohs them did have free farm dreads. The native Indians them, I find that every, indi every indigenous tribe on the earth, every early, every early civilization of human beings, you find that the priests and the people them who actually keep the knowledge used to have free farm dreads. You know, there are mummies, mummification, you know, mummy, remains of mummies in Egypt where shows so the fear of them did, did have dreadlocks, long dreadlocks. So, my understanding is some people say it's not for them thing, and it's really not for everybody. Honestly, if you don't, if you don't strong in your crown chakra, you're not going to carry free farm bridges, something will make you go crazy. You get to me? I say, it's true. You'll go crazy. If you're too much in your crown chakra, free farm dreadlocks is not for everybody. Same like how marijuana is not for everybody. If your spirit is strong enough, you cannot take on this. You get to me? I say, so, the find that back in the ancient time, not everyone did have free farm dreads either. It's not everybody used to carry it. So, even in ancient Egypt, only the one them who are prophet and priest could have managed to have free farm dreadlocks. You know, and even if everybody else did have it, some people dreads don't grow long. Them, them dreads literally grow to this size and stop the rest of them life. So, growing, growing long ear, long dreads, it, it was a gift to us human beings from the Anunnaki, from the extraterrestrials, them who actually, you know, created us. They gave us long ears a connection to the higher dimensions. You know, see, I, if you understand the chakra system, you find that this, the ear is located on top of the crown chakra, right here, so the crown chakra there, over your brain. So the ear connected to the central nervous system. This is an extension of the central nervous system. You get to me, I say? And if you do science, even primary science, show yourself. In order for you feel a touch on your skin, and the central nervous system deal with that, which is a brain and a spinal cord. So you get to me, I say, and the nerves them, and this is just an extension of that, so it helps you feel. It's a, it's a sixth sense. You can literally know things. You can feel people coming, even if you don't see them with these two eyes. And then you can sense people. I've been sensing people. I can know if someone is lying. You get to me, I say, even if them over the phone, I can know, say, yo, that person that lie. I can know if someone is trying to fucking overprice me in the streets. You know, simple. I, I can know when people are trying to like deceive me and all of them, something of deception. This is how people pan it. I don't need eyes to see them things there. Eh? And people don't understand. What do you think the ancient are? The Native American Indians, them, the, 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 the white men, the colonizers couldn't catch them. Couldn't catch them none at all. Because when they came in to raid. Oh shit, I'm going to the seat. I'm not to try and get washed through the seat. The water could literally come right up and <laughs> I keep on at home. Anyway, yes. <laughs> calm down now. Yeah, they couldn't catch them because it was a spiritual connection. They knew, the ancients knew the value of free farm dreadlocks. And the Atlanteans knew, the ancient Egyptians knew, the Mayans knew, the, the, the Tainos knew. You get to me, I say? The Native Americans knew all of the ancient civilizations, them. But we get all of these writing and these texts from Toth. New! No. All of them great, all of the gods, them have um, dreadlocks. If you really look in at the friggin' emerald tablets, look on the hieroglyphics, them, the one them with them not tamper with, and you find it in all the scrolls. Everybody used to carry dreadlocks. Well, not everybody. Everybody who knew something about something. Everyone who were spiritual leaders, spiritual advisors. The shamans had dreadlocks. Look in at India. The shamans, them in at India, have dreadlocks. The Aghori. The even monks have dreadlocks. They only always show you the one them where um, the shaved dead monks. They have unshaven monks. You get what I say? Buddha wore dreadlocks. Shiva wore dreadlocks. The god Buddha where the Indian them worship. 
were dreadlocks. If I really look, the look on Bantu and that, them the little shiny button, that was dreadlocks. My ear can do it too. But I'm gonna make a video to show you how I can make um, shiny bumps with my dreads. All I have to do is turn them and then twist and turn and turn and some little squiggles. Same like the, the, the image of Buddha. So Buddha wore dreadlocks. Shiva wore dreadlocks. The Indian, them God, wore dreadlocks. You find the, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, whoever them call him, Yeshua, wore dreadlocks. He wasn't a white man, he was a black man, Yeshua. Yeshua wore dreadlocks. So all of the ascended masters who trod earth wore dreadlocks, wore long hair. You get what I say? If you check the greatest guru them in the history of spirituality, them have dreadlocks. So what I will tell me say no. As I tell you, the central nervous system, you get what I say? This is an extension of the nervous system. In a science, in a primary science, when they tell us you get a touch on your hand. The reason why you feel a touch on your hand is because your skin, the nerves in your skin send a message, an electrical impulse to the brain. So you find say, electricity run the human body, we are electrical beings, we are electric, electro, electric, electromagnetic beings. You get what I say? And these are our electromagnetic coils. So you know, so when you hear King Kong coil, that's an electromagnetic coil. It literally a, a strengthening your frequency, a strengthening the amount of electricity where you leave your body. The amount of electricity where you can conduct from the atmosphere too. But these are like conductors of energy, spiritual conductors of energy. They find that you can conduct energy from the cosmos, which is in the form of information, downloads. You get what I say? Electromagnetic coils, as I say. If you don't, if you want to go deeper in it, you just type in a Google electromagnetic coils and you realize. These are our electromagnetic coils. They realize say, in electromagnetism. The stronger, the more king can coil, and the more you think them king can, more, the more the wire them king can coil and the stronger the electromagnetic field get. So this is all the universe is trying to do when it makes your ear matter or not. Because I try to strengthen your, in, uh, strengthen your electromagnetic field, strengthen your auric field, because our electro, electromagnetic field is actually our auric field. You know, all of us have an auric field, an energy field around our body. It can stretch from, it can stretch up to nine, nine meters away from the body. That's how big our energy field can get in the human body. You know, some people not really vibe high, so they maybe have, <coughs> maybe, six feet away from them body you know but it can stretch up to nine meters away from the body and the more you grow your free form grids and the more it raises your free frequency it raises your vibration it raises it strengthens your auric field it makes your auric field bigger that's why i'm telling you so i can sense people people can you can know if somebody they around them they don't they don't even have their clothes once somebody in my vicinity maybe in the whole vicinity we can just know that somebody did them we not even have to see them Sometimes people, you know, after a while, I actually see the person and I say, oh, them did a creep around. Yeah, we can know. We don't even have to see them with eyes. We know there's somebody there around. We know, if, we know if people dangerous. We know if people good. You know, you can't come smile in my face and think that you're good. No. We can know if it's a, if it's a deceiver. Decepticons, as, 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 my, as one of my YouTube um, <laughs> friends would have said. You know, Decepticons. They get to me and say, me can know that based on this, based on just having here. Why you think them call, call something the woman's intuition? Woman always have ear. Woman never cut them ear from them bad, most of them. They find their intuition very strong. So the ear tied to intuition, which is the sixth sense, the third eye, and the crown chakra. You say to me, I say, it makes everything stronger. It makes your sexuality stronger. Because when you grow free from it, believe me, your sex, your sex drive gets stronger too. That's why the woman loves the Rasta man them. So. And the truth is <laughs> no joke about it. Your sex drive gets stronger too. Your, your, your love gets stronger for everything. The taste buds them you start love food more. Every you know, start enjoy life better when you grow free from dreadlocks. Believe me, I talk about my experience I and mean, I know say it's not I and I alone have this experience. Only for other people out there with free farm dreads have these experiences but it's just because them don't have a platform for talk or them don't want to have a platform for talk because I is not a, I am I am not a, a really internet person but I get a calling to do this work on the internet. So that's why I see me but they here I do this. You get to me and say, he's not a person of technology and them thing there. And a lot of people like me stay so. So they're not going to really come on the internet come tell you everything. But if, you, but if you meet them in person, man, they will tell you everything about this. You get to me and say, it's not even here. You know, animals have ear. This is ether from the ninth dimension. It connects you to the cosmos. You get to me and say, connects you to everything. So as me and tell you, say, in order for you to feel something by your skin, feel somebody touch you. And your skin have a send an your skin nervous system, the nerve cells in your skin have a send a message to the brain to make you know that something actually touch you. And it send sends an electrical impulse to the brain. So you find so electromagnetic beings. Because I tell you that from primary, just that a lot of people look over it. 
I said, oh no, yeah, we're electromagnetic beings, that electricity are run through it. Electricity. You get what I say? <laughs> That's why we have to grow on ourselves. Especially when you have free farm dreadlocks, you have to literally take off your shoes and grow on yourself, right? Electromagnetic beings, grow on yourself to the earth. You know, make some of the electricity go back down, make the toxin. Walking barefoot, like, barefoot actually removes toxins from your body. You know, the earth literally pulls toxins, toxins from your body when you walk barefoot on the ground. That, that's, how, that's how powerful we are. We are connected to everything around us. So that was free form dreadlocks. And I'm going to tell you, electromagnetic coils, it's our connection to the higher self. It's our connection to the divine. That's why them all is a pressure of cutting it off. So that's why them call it nappy. That's why them curse you about it. Them jealous. Them jealous that them can't connect like we. But you're strong. We're of strength. This is not dead cells, people. Believe that. This is not dead cells. You know, this is actually also a free farm grid update, you know. Two years and three months I've been growing my free farm for. So I'm going to go now 360 and I'm going to see what I'm going completely. I'm going to send them by the beach side so it's kind of noisy, you know. But I'm going to turn around now and make a see the 360. Alright, yeah man, so that was the free farm grid update, as I say. Research more about the thing, find out, you know, all of the connection, the spiritual connection. Spiritual, um, free farm dreadlocks also repel demonic entities, so, in order for you actually lock out demons out of the vessel, because we all know about demonic possession, you know. If you have your free farm dreadlocks, most of the time it's harder. It, it not, it, it's not impossible for demons to possess or hijack your vehicle, but it's harder for the demons to um, actually get access to your vehicle with free farm dreadlocks. It's the only, it's the only um, hairstyle that nature do. It's the only hairstyle that nature is the only ear style that nature approves of. Because if you leave your ear, this is what it turns out to. People, and it comes in different forms based on your frequency, based on the person, you know. So it's an individual thing, it's a unique thing to the person, to, to each person. Because my free form your life will not look like yours. And yours will not look like mine. Do you get what I say? It's a unique to the being, you know. Because we all have different frequencies. Do you get what I say? So, as I say, Stay tuned, one love the journey YouTube channel. Big up, one love.